Neuralink Corporation is a neurotechnology company that develops implantable brain-computer interfaces or PCIs founded by Elon Musk and a team of seven other scientists and engineers. In the coming days, it is predicted that this technology being developed can answer many diseases and conditions previously termed incurable. The most recent invention announced by the company is a set of visual prosthetics that can cure blindness. Here's all about this new invention. Climb rocks without fear. Make up a symphony in your head. Radar can be seen with superhuman vision. Learn about the nature of consciousness. Blindness, paralysis, deafness, and mental illness can all be cured. These are just a few of the applications Elon Musk and his colleagues at Neuralink, his four-year-old neuroscience company, believe electronic brain-computer interfaces will enable one day. As part of a new project, the co-founder of Elon Musk's brain chip startup Neuralink has unveiled a visual prosthetics for blind patients. The Science Eye aims to treat for two types of serious blindness for which there is currently no cure before eventually serving as a brain-computer interface or BCI by transmitting information through the optic nerve of the wearer. The BCI startup, led by former Neuralink president Max Hodak, has already raised $160 million to commercialize the technology. Science Core approaches Neuralink differently, using photonics to transmit data through the optic nerve rather than a hole in the skull. The device is being developed to combat retinitis pigmentosa or RP in dry age-related macular degeneration or AMD, which can cause severe vision loss. According to Mr. Hodak, future versions of the eye implant could replace glasses and even serve as virtual reality goggles. However, according to the company, the first images seen by the patients fitted with the device will be quite different from what non-visually impaired people perceive as vision. We believe that as we learn more, much of this neuroscience is difficult to do in animals. We will be able to restore significant independence to even our future early patients, the company said. Our primary goal is to demonstrate sufficient animal safety data to start the first in-human clinical study, which is the first step forward in commercial product. Science claims that no basic research problems are in the way of commercializing the technology, with hopes of bringing it to market in the not-too-distant future. According to Musk, the first two human applications targeted by Neuralink device will restore vision and allow muscle movements in people who cannot do so. Even if someone had never had a vision before, as if they were born blind, we believe we can restore vision, he says. The first generation Neuralink technology has 1,024 electrodes, but the company demonstrated next generation models with over 16,000 electrodes. That much detail would significantly improve the image fidelity that a blind person could see. Building on that work, Neuralink hopes to advance brain-computer interfaces or PCIs to the point where they can be installed in a doctor's office in under an hour. Neuralink's experiment on a monkey More than a year ago, Neuralink presented a monkey with a brain chip that played a computer game by thinking alone. Neuralink, based in the San Francisco Bay Area in Austin, Texas, has been conducting animal tests in recent years as it seeks U.S. regulatory approval to begin human clinical trials. Another experiment-fed camera captured visual data into a monkey's visual cortex, displaying virtual flashes that the monkey misinterpreted as being in different locations. That is the technology Neuralink hopes will lead to a visual prosthetics to the blind. Human Trials We want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human. Musk said during a much-anticipated public update on the device. We've submitted, I think, most of our paperwork to the FDA, and probably in about six months, we should be able to upload Neuralink in a human, Musk added. Musk describes Neuralink as a Fitbit inside your skull. The technology's applications are truly astounding. Human trials were supposed to begin in 2020, but COVID pushed them back. However, most reports agree that the first human test subject will use Neuralink in 2021. Neuralink is currently collaborating with the FDA to make this a reality. Neuralink is more difficult than social networking. Connecting computer hardware to a wetware raises significant technical, regulatory, and ethical issues. Helping the blind see is one thing, but a digital feed directly into our brains may not help those who already spend too much time at our computers. New Inventions The technology still needs to be closer to its initial medical applications and Musk's ultimate vision of using Neuralink to interact with superintelligent AIs. However, the company is making significant progress, including applying to the Food and Drug Administration 
to begin human trials, which it hopes to begin within six months, according to a two-hour show-and-tell event. Our goal will be to turn on the lights for someone who has spent decades living in the dark, said Dan Adams, a Neuralink researcher working on the effort to repackage camera data into a brain-compatible format and pipe it directly to the visual cortex. Musk's most recent ventures When it comes to revolutionary technology, Musk has some credibility. Tesla, his electric vehicle company, is profoundly changing cars, and SpaceX, his space access company, is transforming space access with reusable rockets. However, his reputation as a tech genius has taken a hit due to the upheaval at Twitter following his $44 billion acquisition. Other companies like Neuralink In the pursuit of Brain Machine Interface or BMI or Brain Computer Interface or BCI technology, Neuralink is not alone. Academic researchers have published numerous papers in startups such as BlackRock Neurotech, Precision Neuroscience, Synchron Medical, and Paradromics are also active. Some like Neuro use non-invasive approaches that do not require surgery. In April, Synchron began human trials with six patients using a device to help people with paralysis. BlackRock has completed some experiments and is recruiting for others such as one to see if a computer interface can help people speak. Another project began in 2013, years before Neuralink was founded, to digitally connect extremities to the brain. Difference between Neuralink and other companies The goal of mass production distinguishes Neuralink from some of those efforts. Production is difficult, I'd say 100 to 1000 times more difficult to go from a prototype to a device that's safe, reliable, works in various conditions, is affordable and is done at scale, Musk said. It's incredibly difficult. Musk envisions Neuralink producing millions of brain chips and has stated that he has plans to purchase one. The company is attempting to automate as much technology as possible to achieve that goal. Its R1 robot inserts electrodes into the brain without damaging blood vessels, but a future machine will handle more surgery, including cutting through the skull. Neuralink is also working on locating its brain chips one layer deeper on the outside of a layer known as the dura. Unfortunately, this necessitates significant changes to the robot's needles and needle steering systems, which the company is currently working on. There aren't many neurosurgeons, maybe 10 for every million people, said Christine Audubashan, who leads Neuralink's surgery engineering team. We need to figure out how one neurosurgeon can oversee many procedures simultaneously to do the most good and have an affordable and accessible procedure. Musk's vision for Neuralink Another significant distinction between Neuralink and its competitors is Musk's sci-fi vision. The company's goals are lofty, a generalized input-output device that could interface with every aspect of your brain, Musk described it. However, a long-term strategy is much grander. What will we do about AI, artificial general intelligence? Musk inquired. How do we mitigate the risk of digital superintelligence, which is far smarter than any human? How do we even go for the ride in a benign scenario where the AI is very benevolent? How do we get involved? The answer in Musk's mind, conceptually, only for the time being, but possibly physically as well, is Neuralink. The link. The most intriguing development shown Friday to neuroscientists may have been what Musk called the link, a silver dollar-sized disk containing computer chips that compress and wirelessly transmit signals recorded from electrodes. The link is about the thickness of a human skull, and Musk claims it can fit neatly onto the brain surface via a drill hole sealed with superglue. I could have a Neuralink right now, and you'd never know, Musk explained. The link can be charged wirelessly using an induction coil, and Musk speculated that in the future, people would plug in before going to bed to power up their implants. He believes an implant should be simple to install and remove so that people can get new ones as technology advances. In addition, he would want to avoid being stuck with version 1.0 of a brain implant for the rest of your life. Outdated neural hardware left in people's bodies is a real issue that research subjects have already encountered. Do you find Neuralink's latest technology fascinating? Comment below. Let us know and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.